Here are my picks for the six best flat benches for all your home gym needs. The Rev FB5000 Competition Flat Bench is the best flat bench on the market. Rev Fitness has been knocking out of the park with their innovations with their rack systems, as well as all the weight benches they offer as well. Considering how many awesome features this bench has, combined with its low price point, there's a reason it's so widely recommended by the home gym community. This bench is specifically built to handle the heaviest weights possible, and is rated at a whopping 1,000 pounds. Considering it's constructed with 3x3 inch 11 gauge steel, this isn't very surprising at all. The standard bench comes with a very grippy vinyl pad, to prevent sliding when setting up for your bench press. The FB5000 is available in a bunch of different colors. You have a choice between metallic black, red, blue, matte black, and a clear coat finish. Every cool color you could possibly want. Overall though, if you want the absolute best flat bench on the market, the FB5000 is what I recommend above all others. The Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2.0 has a decent amount of customization options. You can get multiple pad options, including the Thompson pad, as well as different heights, such as the standard and shorty options. The three post design allows you to get better leg drive to bench bigger weights, and the single post allows you to set your feet up in the optimal position for the most stability possible. The only real downside is that the bench can shake around when setting up with heavy dumbbells. Other than that, it's definitely solid as it's constructed with the same 3x3 11 gauge steel used to construct Rogue's monster racks, which are the highest end power racks that they currently offer. One issue I've heard some have is the vertical storage solution being a little bit wobbly with a thicker pad option. If you don't need to store your rack, this might not be a big deal, but for others, it might be something to pay attention to. All in all though, the Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2.0 is highly recommended even at the higher price point. The Rep FB4000 is very similar to their FB5000 model, but it's constructed with the lighter 14 gauge steel. It has the same height, wheels, wide pad option, with a three post design, which makes this the perfect weight bench for those who don't plan on benching over 700 pounds anytime soon but still want a high quality flat bench so other than not being compatible with the thompson pad and the lower weight capacity it's basically a more budget version of the fb5000 rep also included an angled handle on the front post for easy maneuverability in your garage gym overall though for the price the fb4000 is a very solid weight bench and it's probably the best value on the market at this time rogue's fold-up utility bench is by far the best folding workout bench on the market while others are very low quality this has the same high standards that rogue is known for even though it folds up it's constructed of a 2 by 3 inch 11 gauge steel and has the same solid construction that their standard flat utility bench offers. The neoprene pad has high density foam to provide a solid platform to bench on while also preventing slipping on like cheaper pads. The two most important features of a folding bench is of course how much space it saves while folding up and its actual durability. A lot of benches they might be able to fold up but they're not going to be very durable. The legs fold into a locked position using the orange pins plus this bench comes with the laser cut steel bench hanger that you can mount to your home gym walls for even more space. Considering it only extends around eight inches off of the hanger that's that's pretty incredible, I must say. All in all, if you want the absolute best folding bench on the market, Rogue's Fold-Up Utility Bench is your best option. The FB3000 from Rep Fitness is the best budget flat bench on the market. Not only is it super cheap at $149, but it also has a 14 gauge steel construction with a weight capacity of 700 pounds. One of the awesome features about this bench is that the vinyl pad they use on it is comparable to others that Rep offers. It's incredibly grippy, so you can set it properly for any strength training you need to do. The groove rubber feet especially are a nice addition as some cheaper flat benches are gonna be able to slide around pretty easily and they're very light anyway, so they're going to slide no matter what. There are just two issues with the feet that you need to consider. The first is that because the feet aren't actually welded to the bench, you're going to have to bolt them together. This would be fine, but if you don't tighten them properly, they're going to loosen over time. This will cause the bench to wobble, rock around, and prevent it from being level altogether. Other than that, it's a great workout bench that can even be stored vertically with the included wall hanger. That way, you can clear up as much space as possible when not in use. At this price point, there isn't anything quite as good that has all the features that the FB3000 has. And finally, we have the best weight bench on Amazon, which is the Amazon Basics flat weight bench. It's a pretty solid piece of equipment considering it's under $60 and it even has free prime shipping. The weight capacity does seem quite low, but many users have reported using weights much heavier than this with no issue. This is definitely an ultra budget bench, but that's what people tend to be looking for on Amazon anyways. This is the absolute lowest that I would recommend you go on price though. Anything lower and you're going to be seriously skimping on quality and safety. This is the absolute best adjustable bench on the market and the one that I personally use. Here are a couple of reasons that I recommend it so much. It has seven different back adjustments from zero to 85 degrees. I and many others agree that a 90 degree bench is just too vertical to press from and it isn't a great idea for overhead movements anyways. There are also three different seat positions which is pretty much the standard for adjustable benches nowadays anyways. Another cool feature that a lot of other adjustable benches don't offer is a wide pad option. In general a wider pad is going to allow you to have a more stable platform to press from so this is an awesome addition to the AB5200. The frame itself is constructed of a combination of a 2x3 inch 11 and 7 gauge steel which is probably why it's built like a damn tank. Seriously this thing weighs a 125 pounds, which can definitely be difficult to move around in your home gym. But hey, you're never gonna have to worry about your bench shaking around while benching again. I do a ton of incline pressing movements in my training, and it seriously does not budge whatsoever. Luckily, it includes a handle, wheels, and a back brace for vertical storage, 
so you can wheel it around and get it out of the way when not in use. This is great because this bench is incredibly long at 55.25 inches, which takes up a ton of space. You would think because it's so damn heavy that it would fall over pretty easily while being stored vertically, but it's surprisingly stable unless you intentionally try to knock it over. The single front post allows you to position your feet much better than a dual post setup. This will allow for much better leg drive without sacrificing the stability of a bench as a whole. One of my favorite features of the AB5200 is a ladder style system. I prefer this over other adjustment styles as it's super quick and just as solid. There's also a cage surrounding it which makes it easier to adjust without any vertical movement. Plus there's a spotter platform that you can add on which can definitely be helpful for spotting. The diamond pattern on top allows for better grip so your spotter doesn't slip and cave your chest in. You can also get the AB5200 in multiple different colors. There's black, blue, and red and obviously you guys have seen from my home gym I personally went with red as it matches my PR4000 power rack and honestly I just think it looks awesome matched with the black pads. The only real issues I've really had with the bench is how long the backrest is in comparison to how short the actual seat is. It can be hard to set up the incline in your rack as you have to position the bench back much further than a shorter bench. Plus, for larger lifters, the seat is just a little too small. Not enough to mess with the functionality of the bench, but it's definitely noticeable. Regardless of these issues, I recommend this bench over any others. If you want to learn more, you can check out my rep AB5200 adjustable bench review here, and I'll also put a link to it down in the description box. The Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0 is their newest version of their exceptional adjustable benches. Constructed with 3x3 inch 11 gauge steel and a thousand pound weight capacity, this is exactly the kind of quality you expect from Rogue. Just like the AB5200, this bench uses ladder style adjustments that make it super easy to change your back and seat position. Speaking of, the seat has three adjustments as usual, but the back has 10 different options from 0 to 85 degrees. This is definitely one of the most adjustable benches you can get, which is pretty nice. While it is incredibly heavy at 125 pounds, the horizontal handle and wheels make it much easier to maneuver in your gym. Plus, it can be stored vertically, just like a premium adjustable bench should. The tripod design is super sturdy and allows you to position your feet properly for maximum lay drive, and that, combined with Rogue's grippy pads, will ensure you have the most stable training possible. Speaking of the pads, you have a choice between a normal vinyl foam option that's less expensive, but it still offers a ton of grip, but they also have a molded foam pad that's a little more narrow, but is more durable and even grippier overall. The other great thing I like about this bench is that the gap in the flat position is only one inch, which is definitely nice considering some adjustable benches are two inches or longer. You also have a solid amount of customization options between the colors and the finishes. You can get the bench in blue, black, or red, with black powder coating or stainless steel finishes. The other difference between these two is that the black powder coat version has standard bench wheels, while the stainless steel version has premium rubber wheels. These options are $100 more, which I don't really think is worth the extra cost, but if you have the cash, you might as well go all out. Overall, the Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0 is the best commercial adjustable bench on the market and a premium choice if you want the most adjustment options possible. The AB3100 from Rep is incredible value at $269 shipped as Rep offers free shipping. It's constructed of a combination of 11 and 4 gauge steel for an incredible weight capacity of 1,000 pounds. It uses a ladder style system with 6 back positions from 0 to 90 degrees as well as 3 seat adjustments. This makes adjustments super quick which saves more time for heavy lifting. The only issue with it is that the lowest adjustment is 30 degrees. Most users have complained that they prefer having a lower 15 degree option angle as well. Luckily, Rep has pretty solid customer service, so you won't have to worry about them honoring these at all. Tripod designs are usually going to be better for most users as it allows you to get a better foot position and leg drive as a result. The only issue with the AB3100 three foot design is that the front foot is way too narrow, which sacrifices some of the stability and it wobbles a bit. Most users don't seem to have problems with it while in use though, so that's definitely reassuring. All in all, if you want the best value adjustable bench under $300, I highly recommend the AB3100 regardless regardless of the slight flaws it might have. The Fitness Reality 1000 Supermax Weight Bench is one of the most popular benches on Amazon, most likely because of the solid price point, ability to fold up and save space in garage gyms, and the fact that it's adjustable. This bench uses a ladder style system for fast adjustments and adjusts from negative 15 to 85 degrees. The seat only has two positions, but it's a budget bench. The only major issue I have with the adjustments is that it doesn't have a 30 degree option, which is one of the best positions for incline benching. If you need this bench for other movements and you don't incline bench that much, it's going to be fine. But for others, I would recommend going with something else. Considering this bench can fold up and only cost around $110, it is definitely a good option for those lifting in a small space. Fitness Reality should definitely work on their quality control though. There are a ton of reports of upholstery being torn up, the pads being completely cracked, and other minor issues. Other than that, this should get the job done fine for most. Rep's AB5000 Zero Gut Bench is the best FID bench on the market. It has a ton of adjustable options, a thousand pound weight capacity, grippy vinyl pads, and of course, the Zero Gut system that eliminates that annoying seat gap. There's a reason I and so many others recommend Rep benches so much. For the price, quality, and innovation that they bring to the table, it's no wonder they've become so popular in recent years. Let's go over the most important feature first, the zero gap design. Most adjustable benches have a gap between the seat and back pads. This can be an issue for some lifters depending on your height. 
Luckily, Rep completely fixed this issue with the sliding seat. This allows the seat to tilt and slide for any adjustments you may need. The only real issue with the sliding seat is that it doesn't use a pop pin and requires you to unscrew it and screw it back in. If they could fix this by changing it to a pop pin, it would be an even better bench overall. Some users have complained that you have to adjust the zero gap manually and it doesn't do it automatically. But honestly, I don't really know what they expect from an adjustable bench. The telescoping spine and pop pin adjustment system are perfect for this type of bench though. You can adjust the back seat from zero to 90 degrees in 15 pound increments and the seat adjusts from negative 15 to 45 with the same adjustments. If you want to use this as a true incline bench as well, you have to invest in the leg attachment separately. But if you do, it attaches to the back of the bench, which allows you to use way more decline options and cheaper benches. The pads included are covered in grippy vinyl, which can be found in all of Rep's benches, and it really allows you to lock in while benching to prevent slipping out of your arch. Plus, the foam pads are pretty dense and give you a nice stable surface to lift on. The front foot of the AB5000 is actually T-shaped to allow for better support when using the decline option. This is definitely a great feature that I'm glad they included. The only real issue is that it tends to get in the way of the vertical hand Handle when you need to move it around. One thing I need to mention is that this bench is super heavy just like the AB5200. At 117 pounds, it might be difficult for lighter lifters to wheel it around your gym. However, considering it's this heavy due to just how heavy duty it is, I'd say that's an acceptable trade-off. You can even sort vertically so it won't even be in the way much either. If you want the absolute best FID adjustable bench on the market, I highly recommend the AB5200 Zero Gap Bench from Rep. The Rogue AB3 adjustable bench is by far the most premium FID bench on the market. This bench brings everything on the table you expect to find in a road quality bench. Right up front, I just need to warn you guys that this bench is very expensive. At $950, there are definitely cheaper options that bring a lot of value to the table. However, if you want the most premium option with the most adjustments and a lifetime warranty, the AB3 is definitely what you should be getting. Between the nine back adjustments, which are zero to 78 degrees, and your six seat adjustments from negative 15 to 40 degrees, you're getting a grand total of 54 different adjustment options. Here are the different adjustments if you wanted a closer look. The back pad adjustments start at zero, move on to eight, and then from there, they just go up 10 degrees all the way up to 78 degrees, so eight, 18, 28, et cetera. The seat pad adjustments start at negative 15 and then from there they go from 0, 10, 20, 30, and 40 degrees. The AB3 is incredibly heavy duty with a 2x2 inch and 2x3 inch 11 gauge steel construction. A ton of users have mentioned how it doesn't rock around as cheaper decline benches do. One user that's over 270 pounds can perform weighted sit-ups and crunches at 58 degrees and it has no wobble issues whatsoever. This is pretty incredible and shows just how high quality it actually is. The only major gripes that users have reported is that the pad gap is much wider than most. Because the angles have a slope downward angle, if you measure across the top where the slope starts, it's actually around 6 inches. Sure, for some this might not be an issue, but it's definitely worth pointing out. Another plus is that this bench actually includes a leg attachment with it, so you don't have to worry about investing another $100 like you would with other companies. It can be removed and adjusted to your preferences, and is a higher quality than those offered by Rep, as well as GetRx. Rogue's AB3 adjustable bench is the absolute best FID bench on the market. It's incredibly high quality, has over 50 plus different adjustments, and it also has a lifetime warranty that Rogue is known for. The GetRx FIDAB2 adjustable bench is very similar to Rep's AB5200 in looks, adjustments, and overall performance. The ladder style system is caged and super quick to change. Plus, you have 28 different back and seat adjustment options as well. The back pad has seven choices ranging from zero to 85 degrees. Most pad gaps on adjustable benches are just too damn wide. But the FIDAB-2, which is so hard to say, is only two inches. And considering just how long the back pad is, it's not really noticeable to some users. The frame is built using a combination of 11 and 7 gauge steel, which makes this bench super beefy. However, since it's so heavy duty, it weighs around 115 pounds, which as you guys are noticing a trend here, all of them are going to weigh around the same amount because if you want those solid adjustments and you don't want the stability issues, then it's going to be heavy. That's just how it is. Some might have issues moving this bench around because of that, so keep that in mind. Luckily, GetRx built this bench with a horizontal handle and wheels to make maneuvering it a little easier. This bench is designed to be an FID bench, but the only issue is that you have to buy the leg roller attachment separately, similar a reps bench. However, if you do that, you have a ton of decline options as well. They also have a dumbbell slash barbell holder add-on that attaches to the back leg so you can set up for chest supported exercises much easier. It doesn't work with every type of dumbbell though, but if this is an important feature for you that makes you decide on buying it, make sure the dumbbells you use are compatible first. You can even store the bench vertically, which is always nice for these massive benches. Plus, they have a bunch of color options to choose from. You have black, blue, red, green, and yellow. And finally, the pads are constructed with an ultra high density foam and is covered with an extra grip slash non-slip covers. I definitely think this is the best value FID bench on the market. It's constructed well, has a ton of premium features, and it's really just an all around solid bench overall. The Rep AB3000 FID adjustable bench is the best budget flat incline and decline bench on the market. It's constructed with a combination of 14 and seven gauge steel that supports up to a thousand pounds. At under 320 
dollars this is an awesome budget option considering that it's also a decline bench a lot of higher quality adjustable benches weigh over 115 pounds but the ab3000 is only 95 pounds with wheels on the handle this makes it perfect for smaller home gyms and lighter lifters the ab3000 has 21 different adjustment combinations ranging from negative 20 to 85 degrees for the back pads and the seat pads have three with a maximum of negative 20 degrees this isn't enough for some users so it's important to note another problem is that the leg roller doesn't have enough adjustment options for all lifters but for the price that's about what I expect. Just like all of Rep's equipment, you have multiple color options. Metallic black, red, blue, and matte black. For more premium benches like the AB5200, these coats are pretty solid. However, multiple users have reported that the colors on this version are dull and not as vibrant. Hopefully these are quality control issues and nothing more. Overall though, for the price, I highly recommend the AB3000 FID adjustable bench for most lifters. It's high quality, has a 10 year frame warranty, and is definitely the best budget option on the market. Check out this playlist here for everything you need to know about weight benches. Until next time.